every once in a while, I, uh, I don't get bored. I just crave exploring a little bit if I'm not on a road trip for a while. So I'll take some local trail systems and I'll bring up Google Maps, Trail Fork, Strava, um, and I'll put them in a bowl and I'll just see what comes out. Last night I was up late looking around Marshall Canyon and I found basically what looks like a playground from the satellite images. Dug in a little bit more, found some Strava trails from two years ago in the same location and um, some heat map stuff. It looks like people are riding it, but you never know because terrain changes and those satellite images could be from years ago. So these exploration rides are always a gamble. I call it treasure hunting for a reason. Sometimes it's a bust. Sometimes I come out with some of the best trails I've ever been on and they become a staple in my riding. So even if technically it's a bust, it's not really a bust. I'm out there for a few hours, appreciation stations aplenty, fresh air, getting out of the house. You're definitely gonna get some riding in either way, even if it's a hike a bike station. Um, that's pretty much it. You guys are about as clueless as I am on what we're gonna find today. I hope it's interesting. If it's not, yell and scream at me at the comments below. Actually, I'm too sensitive for that. Be nice in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna eat something and then we'll go. Just getting ready to take off right now. We parked at a parking lot called The Point. At least that's what it says on Google Maps. Really short climb across the street from that parking lot. I'm starting to see some of the trails that I saw in the satellite images. Right here up on the left. Hopefully, that's a good sign. I'm gonna head up a little further, do some exploring, see what we find. All right, so here's the water tower I used. It's my mental map marker. And I saw some trails on the right of it. Looks like there's one right here. But well, I know nothing about it. And it looks like you drop into, is that where it goes up there? No, come on. Let's take a closer look. I haven't told you guys yet. When I do my treasure hunting, I always have somewhat of a plan. Even though I don't know where the hell I'm going, what the trails look like, I have a vicinity and I have phases usually. Like this is the first area I'm checking out. And if this doesn't work out, we're going all the way up to the top way out there and I've got another trail, long trail mapped out above the traditional Marshall Canyon loop. All right, it looks like left should take us somewhere possibly. And I do see some tire tracks. So let's go in. It basically turned into some type of hiking trail unless people are hike biking up this for fun. Oh, not a good start. <laughs> right off the bat, we are hike biking uphill for about a mile. I just looked at the map and we're accidentally making progress to phase two. We are headed up instead of to the left, which I thought we were. So we're meeting up with another trail I had scouted out that looks like it would be a climb up, but judging from this trail, it doesn't look like we're gonna be doing much pedaling. I don't know if I'm gonna make it up that with the bike. GoPro effect may be in a full effect right now, but that is, I wanna say almost vertical with sandstone and loose rock on top of it. Not to mention there's a drop on the left side of me. Treasure hunting. Slipping. Can't really get a foothold. Uh, I thought we were mountain biking. Oh, this might be a first. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm in it now. This is gonna be the whole video. Just me hiking up a vertical, slippery cliffside, stupidly. I'll be editing this, looking back, laughing, remembering how terrible this was. And somehow I managed to get the hell out of it, hopefully. <laughs> this is what you get for thrill seeking. I mean, treasure hunting. That's what we're doing. Treasure hunting. Oh man, I gotta do it. Sorry guys.
you got to appreciate the bad with the good. Thank you, Rut. Oh, I can't see around that corner, but I'm hoping it ends. Wrong way, buddy. My forearms and my shoulders are beat. Oh, I'm gonna run the SD card dry. Hike a biking. Hey guys, I guess that about does it for us. Thanks for watching today. If you like the video, like it. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. As always, thanks again for hunting me. Bring your map to life. I'm not gonna do another one. Stop messing with me. Nope. You're funny. Future me. <laughs> this is the closest I've been to thinking I might not be able to do this. This is, I was joking before about being vertical. This looks like it's the cliff face. <sighs> not turning around. If people have hiked up this on foot, I can do it on a bike. Excuse me. Poison shoe mac, excuse you. Please don't be poison shumac. I was just joking. Uh, it smells like it could be. I don't know if poison shumac even smells. Uh, oh, I can see it. Current situation. <laughs> a little bit to go 20 30 yards let's do this oh oh ah oh. ah oh. little trail guide tip from your local trail guide the outsider Next time, go this way. Or don't, because that looks bad too. We're gonna see what the hell's up there. I'm imagining it's more of this for another three miles, so we'll reassess when we get to the plateau. What a friggin' view though, huh? Let's get one. We earned it. So after looking at the map, the way up wants me to go up this guy and then continue on up that somehow which is not happening on a bike. So, I did say this in the beginning, sometimes it's a bust even though you get a day out. So at this point, I'm at a plateau, big circle plateau up here with a beautiful view. I spotted some single track here that looks like it winds around the canyon back down. So hopefully it's rideable. I'm sick of hiking. All right, looks like there's a double track truck road that looks overgrown on the way down. Not ideal. It's all part of it though. My legs are so scratched up, they're gonna be itching for a week. I gotta watch out for sinkholes around here. I saw some sinkholes on the way in that were marked off with caution signs. That would suck. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take that as a warning. somehow ended up inside a stable. Not at a stable, inside of it. 
All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm definitely not where I should be. Let me say that one more time. I am definitely not where I should be. We made it back in one piece. And I've been thinking about on the way down if I'm going to post this or not. And obviously I did. And I decided to because it's all part of it, man. Sometimes you eat the bear. And sometimes the bear eats you. The bear ate me today. But I lived another day to talk about it. And next time we know where the hell not to go. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm sorry I didn't bring your map to life today. Ooh, sorry for not bringing your map to life. All right, hey guys, future me here. Nice to meet you. This guy's a little bit upset. Yeah, you're being a dick. Still. All right, um, I apologize for being a dick, and I guess I was a little bit rough on you in the vid. Can we move on? Sure. Good enough for me. Moving on. So in the beginning of the vid, you guys saw that little banner that said we had a surprise for you at the end, and we do. This was a crap of a ride. So we're not going out like that. As an appreciation for you guys sticking around watching this disgusting suffer fest that this guy just likes to, you know, it's great, you get, you know, it's not a bus, you just go outside and, you know, it's fun. It's not fun. I did not have a good time. So thanks for sticking around. We've got something for you right now. Tomorrow already happened. Redemption ride, fully filmed, edited, and ready for you in the end screen in about three seconds. Keep streaming. Hit that video. And we're fast forwarding to the future right now. Even I don't know how this day went, but we'll see you there. We'll see you there later tomorrow. Now. We'll see you now. It happened already. I don't know what the hell happened, but it happened already, and you can watch it right now.